Okay. Uh, I guess we'll get started now. Um, welcome to my mom's kitchen. This night is very unflattering. It is. <laughs> it makes you feel like you got like, like yeah, I'm losing my chops. <laughs> my dad chops. <laughs> okay, so I guess what we'll do is we'll just start with the song until um, my mom comes out of the and joins us. I wonder if yeah, it looks good, huh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good knee. That's my middle one. That's not so bad. Middle one, not so bad. There we go. Okay, so we can we'll start with a song. Go ahead. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, we'll start with a a song. Um. We'll sing. The, the one song that we usually sing um, in any opening that we do or, or wherever we travel, if we're asked to do openings or even lately for COVID, we've had to do virtual openings as well. So the one, <laughs> the one song, um, we just call it Beaned Again, but uh, it's asking the um, ancestors and grandmas and grandmas that have passed on to come and join us and be with us. Um, but yeah, and then we'll do some introductions. Hey, 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 hey,
Mas eu vou dizer que foi uma quadra. Os sagas of the credit card said, um, I mean, that she would be speaking more earlier, and I can miss sagas of credit, but I've lived here all my life. Uh, welcome to my home, my kitchen. What did you put us in the kitchen? She said it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, she would be the strawberries. Or, um, what do you call it? 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 Um, new credit Donjaba, I mean lost of nations Donjaba, uh Mississauga and Dow. Um my name is Wild Bloom Purple Flower Woman. I'm from the Mississauga of the Credit First Nation, um uh, Bear Clan and um my father Dolomai Mohawk from the Six Nations of the Grand River. I should say our father because it's all of our dads. All of our dads? All of our dads. Whatever. It's all of our dads. All of our dads. Is all of our dads? See, that doesn't make sense, does it? He's our dad. Yeah. Um, his name is actually uh, Pat Green, and um, he's worked in uh, in and around all over Ontario, and uh, that's one of the people that we learned to sing from was my father. Um, the other, obviously, being <laughs> our mother. Um, but we travel from coast to coast almost. <laughs> Unintentionally, that rhymes. Um, but yeah, and we travel together as a family to the powers and stuff. It's hard to hear when talking. Oh, uh, can you hear us a little bit better if we can move up? Like, project our. We can't move up because if we move up. Okay. Then we can't see. Then we can't see. So speak up. Like, if we speak up, can you hear? Okay, all right. Check the volume on us. It's, there's no mic volume. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Mingo, go ahead. Ani Bojo. Um. Uh. You have it written. I know. Kanye Geha. Uh. Gari Wayesta. Um. Sego Seguego. Um. Is that my name yet? No. Uh. What got me with Kwa? Viji Kwa and Dijnikaz. Um. Dano. Adult Wazine. Yundiats. Um. Credit in Donjaba, credit in Nito Ageno, Dano Makwa, Oguali, Dodem, Niwa Gent Deloda. Good job, Minka. So, we've been practicing a lot of our language, Jai Rum's language class with Mala, James Shimana on Wednesday night, and Kate, and Caitlin. And um, so, We've been trying harder uh, with the language because James tells me no matter where I go to keep using the language as much as we can. Um, so that particular particular song we just sang, Red Shadow Singer sang, sang that song and I heard that song at a ghost dance. Can you hear me, Wendy, Caitlin? Okay. So at, at a ghost dance, everything's black and white. But everything in the world is not black and white. But in this ghost dance everything's opposite everything can like the yin yang almost type of thing so um <coughs> my fast back in the field after sun dance after the crop circle came um this song this particular song kept coming to me all night so i would just try to close my eyes and then i would wake not wake back up i'd sit back up and i'd sit there and sing this song so and I just kept hearing this song over. So we're calling in the grandfathers and we usually sing a song four times through to the to Jawanan, East, Wabanong, South, West, to the North, the four directions all the time. So those spirits are coming in all the time. And just like the medicine wheel and, and the creation story, and it's looking in our face and they're saying, there you are, there you are. And so when we sing those songs, we're honoring those spirits that come in. and so the song we sang, we're saying, come on in grandfathers, come on in grandfathers. Um, and then there's a partner, um, says, so we're asking creator to come on too. 
come on in too. So we're focusing in on the center of what we're doing here. So it's a song. Song is prayer. So every time we're singing, we are praying. Um, so um, it's the same. And then there's vocal, vocals in there. So um, that was the first one. Uh, you want to do another one or go? You want to do something else? Mm, you want to do another one? Okay. Go ahead then. Which one do you want to do? Um, I don't know. Okay, I guess I'm going to do that story. That's the same. What do you want to say? Um, I don't know. What did we sing last week that we did sing again? Sing the men's healing. The uh, sacred space. Let's do the men's healing sang, because we the child, uh, wildflower, wildflower, and we sang the lullaby. Yep. And the bear song. Okay, let's do the men's healing song then. Okay. Because um, I don't think we sang that one very much mm -hmm. the last little bit, so we can do that one. So this this men's healing song, because of what happened to our people. Um, it impacted the traditional roles of men and women and this song is to help lift men back up and it came to a woman in a fast um ava Sharbo, and it can be a fast beat or a, or a slow beat it all depends on a woman that's leading it and she's mm. thinking about the men to help their energy you okay oh. <laughs> i don't know what's going on <laughs> so hey, uh, hey. <laughs> okay <laughs> special services on music and singing so I did this book I stole this picture from the internet and it's on voice oh you know what it's it's gonna go backwards it says voice and traditional song um, and stress release 
So, um, like I was, I was saying the a couple of times, um, there's chapters here. There's the, and we are just like a music note, if you can see that. So C D E F G A B all the way up to the to the the crown chakra up here. So if you heard that song, it was way up. So it goes up, away, and it goes all the way down. Hey, then back up. Yeah, hey, you can feel it when you sing that song <laughs> or any song. Way up, hey, away, hey, hey. Just like that sacred space song. Um, I can feel that right here in my chest when I sing that part. So I'm calling out, I'm calling out to these other women. And then the other women answer. Um, answer. No. <laughs> Say that? No, no, no. no, no, no. You, felt it here? you felt it there? Where'd you yeah. feel it, Maya? Right in the middle? Mm -hmm. Where'd you feel it in your throat? Yeah. And then the next part goes, yeah. And then it goes right down. Hey, yeah, ho. So it's going down, way down to this root yeah. chakra, way down here to the earth and being connected to the earth. And then it's drying back up and out. So that's that sacred spice spot sound. And it goes <laughs> up. Sacred sponge <laughs> It goes up and down and up and down. And um, so I'm gonna do, we'll do an exercise every time in between each song that we sing tonight. So we're gonna do the root chakra <laughs> and there's a certain sound. Um, uh, come on. Sorry, I'm just trying to pull up my laptop here. Ah. So you, you're still going to see that picture though. Oh, okay. So you'll see this picture how the different chakra points and it comes up and out. I'm oh, sorry, Mega. Now these are the chakra points again, but it has a different vowel sound. That's the vocables we're talking about. So we're going to do the, the, lowest, the lowest chakra and it's right here and connected to the earth. It's red color right here. It's not the women parts, it's underneath. So it would be where the skirt comes up and down to the earth. So we're gonna do that sound, um, the sound ah, uh, just like in the ah uh, of cup. So, the, so we're gonna go like this, we're gonna take a deep breath and we're gonna hold that sound as long as we can and we're gonna focus red, connecting to the earth and that space. What are you doing? Let me explain it. Oh, and you're gonna really. hold your hand, not on that part, but a little space away from it. So I'll demonstrate one yeah. time. So the sun cup. Uh, 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 uh. I will demonstrate. Oh, hey, all right. <laughs> tell us. Tell it. So you take a deep breath. One, two, or three. Uh, so I'm focusing on that sound. I'm so gonna say, I'm so focusing on that deep sound rooted, rooted to the earth and that should open up that chakra because there's seven chakras here and then the sacral and then the solar then my heart then the throat um then the third eye then the top so it's like spinning wheels in here so maybe stuff happened today so they all kind of went off so now when I do these sounds um they start spinning just like a nice wheel and it opens it up so that the energy is flowing back and forth and it'll look like a, it should look like a rainbow inside so let's try it and we're just going to do this sound and then we'll sing another song maybe talk a little bit and then go to the next one maybe we'll just get far as this one or this one or this one i'm not sure ready so this the sound of ah uh, ah uh, ready whatever tone comes up deep breath put your hand there focus red on the bottom chakra Uh, Hold it as long as you can. When you're out of breath, take a deep breath and start again.
just shake it off. Did, did you feel that when, did you just two try it? There's two of these on here. It's Kate. Caitlin and Wendy. <laughs> did you feel how your body goes like this? It starts vibrating. Uh, can you go get that that ball? So it's no different than me throwing a stone and water and then you see the ripples, how the ripple goes out. It's no different. When we're when I'm speaking to Jai, um, that energy goes out, that our, my breath is going out to her. And then when she speaks back, so it's going back and forth. So it's no different than this. When, uh, when I talked about the Bettons coming when we had the crop service back here, they just wanted the kids. <laughs> so all the kids sat on a, on a mat with them on the ground or on a floor, the earth. And all of, they sat with the kids and they, huh? a lot more. they sang, they, they chanted for 30 minutes with the kids and they would, they would do this sound like, ah, uh, and then they would switch to another one. It was higher. Then it would go low then high then medium for 30 minutes and then um and that's their way of toning so it's no different than this so i can feel that vibration going off my hand with this tibetan ball and vibrating off that'll keep going until i stop stop it stop <laughs> so I want you to try it again and then just notice the difference. We, we've been sitting for a while and then we're going to sing another song and then just feel the difference in that area when we sing a different song. Are you ready? Try to do it like three breaths That's doing this. The top. The top. We're still doing the red, focus on red, the lowest chakra and the sound up. Deep breath. Oh. Sing another song. Oh, did you try it, Caitlin? Oh, sorry, Manny was. Okay. I had to hook Manny up onto my Wi Fi. Oh. <laughs> he was getting a call. <laughs> sorry. Okay, let's do another song. Sacred space. Okay, we're going to sing the sacred space now. And I want you to pay attention of that area, the lowest chakra, the uh, root chakra, it's called the connection to the earth and just see how each chakra is feeling in your body. Right? Yeah, I'm trying to see what you see by yourself. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
because there's so many emotions there that do they really want to know how you're doing it? And, um, and as, as a human beings, we, we, we carry a lot of emotion. So this is one of those songs and um, that has a lot of feeling in there. And so when, when we're singing that song, when I close my eyes right now, like I needed this, I use like a lot of different oils. So I use peppermint and peppermint oil um, helps open up the airways it helps um, pick things up. Excuse me, Tina. And uh, so when I was singing it, for me, what I could see was stars. What I could see was stars and blue, a blue light coming up and down um, and taking things off because I had a busy day. I had uh, somebody recording me all morning to do traditional teachings on parenting. I'm running a virtual parenting program, so they're videoing a whole bunch to com compress it. And then I went running to Woodstock because I forgot a dolly, so I was on the highway and all that kind of stuff. So I just got home just before I got back. But um, and there's other things that I was dealing with on the phone and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, Tina, and uh, just you know, daily, daily stuff. And I was kind of feeling bad about Marcus, my grandson, because uh. He's doing virtual learning. I didn't send him back. He can, because 80% of them went back. But I don't know. I didn't know Microsoft Office thing, and he was supposed to have it. I guess the one teacher said he was uh, supposed to be on there. And Marcus said he was, but he said he never seen him on there, but Marcus could see it on the computer. Anyway, the teacher finally called me, and because I was trying to connect him, and I did swear at him. And I said, I said, <laughs> I, said I am so effing frustrated with this whole process because he got his laptop thing and then it didn't have no internet on it. So I kept bugging him every day. And for four weeks, I didn't get the actual pad with the internet. So he was four weeks behind at the beginning. And then he, and then it was like a half credit thing. So it was already a half thing. So he had four weeks to finish his two courses. So he ended up failing these two courses. But this particular guy, after I got, I swore, and I said, just failing that. And he goes, no, I want to work with you. I want to work with him. And I said, well, he's shy. He's not going to answer you because he's sitting right here. But this kind of singing and the medicines and that helps get rid of those things because Marcus was like shocked at me because <laughs> of what I said to him. But anyway, we got through it and Marcus ended up with 80% with his cooking because we he 
he decided he could do the stew and all of this kind of stuff. So he did Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, just did cooking. Oh, speaking of which, does Marcus want to make deer stew again? Ooh. And we can record him. Yeah. And get it for our um, our catalog oh and our recipe God. book. And, and we'll have, we'll get it translated as he's oh. cooking, as he's doing it. We'll have to ask him. I think he'll do it. Yeah. 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 I just remember that. We should get some shots in there. The guy's going out bow hunting. Don't know what that is. Just kidding. <laughs> we could, yeah. 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 It's part of it. But anyway, um, why was I talking about this? Oh, because of uh, <laughs> because I could feel that heaviness. Um, so this helps open things up when you're singing. Like we used to do like exercises like we're doing right now before we sing, but we already start doing our deep breathing before we start singing because we, we get nervous every time we go sing or even doing this it comes but that just means we care we care about um how we're, how we're going to deliver and if we're going to be okay but we know we're going to as soon as we open our mouth and start singing we just know it because we support each other um <laughs> yeah, well. no we okay do. you're telling me what no <laughs> Okay, let's sing a song. <laughs> Which one do you want? No, that my pick this time. Okay. Yeah, I am letting you guys pick. <laughs> I picked the last song and said, Mingo, what do you want to sing? Um, I seen something in here. I was like, whoa, what is, what is this? You don't have to remember all the songs we used to sing at LSK. Hey, guys, we just found a, a, a ton of old cassettes. That have all these old power songs and dad songs mm -hmm. that were yeah. recorded somewhere at labels. We don't know what like big cassettes or those little tiny cassettes. Do you guys have? Do you got somebody have a request there? Yeah, if you one. have, have <laughs> oh, I missed it. It went. Caitlin, there was something there. Wendy has a request there. If you have any dear me oh, to share, I'd love some. Oh, oh me. I do. <laughs> Maya does. Maya does. I have lots of my freezer. So. We're gonna sing. Um, I can bring some down to you. My, me want to sing that Humbai song by um, Kurpe. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is another lum, lullaby. lullaby. You talk about it, Minga. I don't. I don't know it. It says it right there. It says lullaby song, Grandma Esther's lullaby by Pure Fay, recorded by Yulali. So we actually got to meet Yulali and Pure Fay. Who are, they, Jack? Maybe. Who are they, Jack? Who are they? She loves us. She does. Who are, who are they, Jack? So Yulali was... <laughs> what? Yeah, I have on Facebook. Yeah, it's the most um, They're Tuscarora singers from North Carolina. Um, yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that until I actually met her. But um, they... Yulali was like one of the first female um, art art groups, I guess, artists or groups or whatever, um, that kind of made it into like the mainstream um, form of like uh, mainstream media, mainstream art form at the time. Um, this is probably back in like the what, 80s, 90s. And they were, they sang, they sang contemporary songs, they sang traditional songs. Um, but, the, but the biggest thing that, that came from them was their um, she. Alright, I'm gonna do it right there. <laughs> so, I'm stuck it. <laughs> Mom, get in here. <gasps> Look at all the snow. That's no, Patrick. Come back inside. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> they go it's a busy hustle. It's <laughs> a lot <laughs> going on. Can you get in here? Yeah. Sorry. Anyways, so myself and my mom actually got to meet Pure Faye. At, no, was, you were oh, okay. The first right time there. I met her, I was actually starstruck because I was like, oh my god, it's Pure Faye. I remember listening to her when I was growing up. And then me and my mom met her in Toronto and we went to this Native Women's Center. It was a, yeah, it was a Native Women's Center. And we were just going to go like because we were out there for a conference. And we get to this place and there's this big oh, drum circle yeah. with all these women, Native women from Toronto. There was Rosary Spence. Who asked us to come? I know no, somebody asked me we to did come. Them. You were with us. It was me, you, and Noam. So it's hard. They asked us to come. Yeah. So we went there first, and then we, they, they asked us if anybody had any song, and I was like, I don't really want to say anything. Like, I don't want to sing. And then they're like, and yeah. that rosary so already knew circle, right? 
who we were because she seen us at Fowler. So she's like, Jai, do you guys have any songs? And we're like, come on. I mean, I got this one song. Like, we have a studio. <laughs> so, like, it's nothing good. So we sang, and that whole, I didn't even look. Like, I just kind of kept my head down while we were all singing. And I guess Pure Fate was blown away by how we sounded. And then they asked us to come to the second gig. <laughs> not the second gig, the second circle. I a different place. The Native Resource. Women's yeah, the Native Center. Resource Women's Center. And so they, me and my mom walked in and they're like, they're like, hi, come on, come on to the front. So we were kind of sat down and they did their little presentation and pure face saying, she sounds amazing. She does. I love when she uses the looper. And then she was like, hey, I remember you from like the other week or the other day, do you guys want to sing? So we sang and like from that moment, I think there was like this weird like, connection between us and them because um her and her cousins created Yulali back in the 80s and 90s and to me it's very iconic because they were one of the first like aboriginal or indigenous singers to kind of break that break through into like the mainstream and there's not very many women's hand drum groups that kind of break into even like the Palo circuit or like the round dance circuit because women are only backup singers at round dances they don't you don't get to touch the drums you don't get to stand in the middle circle and sing with everybody you stand on the outside and i mean traditionally that's probably how like the Cree people do their round dances and that's okay that's how they do it that's their traditions but i think at some point there has to come an evolution of well where are the women represented in that besides standing on the outside so it's there i think there's a long way to go and i'm nowhere to judge how they run their round dances or anything but um yeah i don't know where i was going with that but yeah so this song that Minga's talking about was actually on one of her or one of you lolly's <laughs> one of you lolly's first cds so Take her away. Just like the first beat. The slower. Thank you. 
So if Pure Faye was singing a song with us, she would be looping it. So after that first part, that first round, she would start, it would keep singing, and then she would start saying something else. So she harmonized with herself. Yeah, so okay, so say who did this part. Go. Oh. Humba, humba, humba. Totally, totally, totally different. different. It would be a total different tone and a total different sound of something. And then she loops that one. Then she does a total different one. Then she loops that one. So then her whole, she's done four things and it's all one, so one song. It's just amazing the way she does it. And then yeah. she unloops it. It's just like, it's just so beautiful. You should get a looper. Yeah, totally that'd better. be nice. So we're going to do the next sound now. So we're going to move up to, to the sacral chakra. All your women parts right here. And for the men, it would be still across here. But I, th I, I think of this as where the, we carry the babies right here. So this sound, or the color is orange, and the sound is like you, but the ooh sound. So we're going to do you, or, or the ooh, ooh sound. Ooh. You guys, little now. Deep breath. One, two, three. singing this song we're calling it back and we're fanning it just like we fan a fire and we make that fire come high so i want you to think about that song close your eyes wendy and let that come in there okay Oh, my God. 
change or you don't have to answer me if you just acknowledge it yourself um did you see color did you see any images um so i want to do something at this point good wendy so i want to do something at this point i want you to always close your eyes and just listen to my voice i want you to see so going diesel our creator above you and i want you to see mother earth below you and i want you to bring so going diesel or the creator down 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 to that sacral part to meet mother earth bring her up and let them those two energies come together your, that's your true father and your true mother and they're coming together let that energy come right let that energy come right there in that spot right there now i want you to fly way up into the sky world to the stars and pick one pick a star and I, you can tie a, a cloth on it, a ribbon. Whatever color ribbon it is, it's okay. And then I want you to look at all the wonderment. All the wonderment and show, feel and see your gratefulness. And know that you can go there anytime. When things get too heavy, you can go look at the greatness. Now, when you're ready, you can come back down to the earth and keep that tire there and go way down deep, 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 deep into the earth, the core of the earth, down to the core of the earth. And it could be a different color ribbon until you're ready to settle on a, on a stone or a rock and tie yourself off. And just feel that how grounded you feel, the, the texture of the stone what it feels like know that you can go there anytime when it does when you feel off of sorts you can get grounded anytime and just give your gratitude now when you're ready you can untie it and you can shoot up to the sky world just like that and go get the other ribbon and come back down to the earth and you can go there anytime and pay attention pay attention what color the ribbon was <laughs> Pay attention to how you were feeling when you were up and when you were down and, and how it was feeling. And you can go there anytime. Okay, so now we're going to sing a different song. <laughs> we're going to sing a little. Uh, <coughs> what? What time is it? 6.29. Oh, wait. We've got about 10 minutes. Okay, so what song is that? What's in that book? What's in this book? Yeah, let's look at the songs. Um, songs? Okay, we already sing that little bit. Hey, we haven't seen the Loon song in a long time. Remember oh, that yeah. one? So this song um, came to me when uh, me and Mingo went up north and I was looking for a song for a couple that was getting married and the Loons kept coming and there's stories about the Loons. If, um, early in the morning they come, come out and play and they play a game and they are make a circle almost like we do and the, they they're playing with their feet like to stay above the water as long as it can and the one that stays up the longest that's the winner that's the winner of the game and then it, it almost sounds like they're laughing and playing when they're doing that and if you think of a loon like some people don't like that long sound that they have it sounds sorrowful and then some people like it because it's so deep and then sometimes they can go deep reap into the earth or the water and then you don't know where they are you may never see them come back up maybe they don't come back up or they may come back up in a different spot that's how long they've held their breath breath right off and then the story about how they got their their uh their, their uh, color around their neck the necklace the necklace um there's a story to that about an exchange with a, a blind person to, to try to get his sight so this loon song what happened was i could see a traditional man and when we was leaving i put food down by the water to give thanks for those uh, animals coming and when I was sitting on a dock with me and Minga, I could see a man and woman in my mind's eye come out of the sky world and, and the heart was like a heart shaped heart sun and it come right at me and I could hear this song and it would come really close and so this song came so I called it the loon song and so this is how it goes I'll sing it one time through then I'll sing it yeah yeah
I've sang it in a long, long, long time, but it feels like a glottal throat, like a glottal song right here, singing that. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> song because it was their song that the language part um i remember when i sang it for them and um when i opened my eyes they were crying that's all i remember that they were crying so so those those songs um came gifted from those moons that night and or that day do you remember when they came up when we left Minga and we put that food up for them yeah she was about five or six at the time so you're what 26 now oh dear Oh my God, she's 29. So, holy heck! That's like 25 years ago. <laughs> Did you know that we recorded that song on the first CD? Yeah. Yeah. This song is recorded on the first CD, Jason. So we're gonna do that one last one. It's a, the 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 word go, and it's yellow right here. The solar plexus. This is where if you put your hand here when we were singing. You should be able to feel your stomach going in and out like an accordion. This is where you're going to be breathing. This is where we should be breathing from when we're singing. Is here, not here. So if I was saying, I was saying from here, this is where oh, we be coming from here. But then I'm going to be coming from here. I, I'll be able to hold those notes a long, long time, just like what we're doing right now. So some of the solar plex, we're going to do yellow. We'll just do it two times. Deep breath. Yellow. Oh. You should be able to keep holding it like like that. So you can practice on your own. You can Google, Google chakra points or colored chakra points, and those colors will come up where they are and finish them. The heart, the throat, the third eye, and the top one. And then you're open. You're opening that up. Do it every day, and you'll notice a difference in yourself from the, from the whole day. If you're by water or just sitting in your car, or taking a five-minute break, just doing that sound. 
um, when I used to leave, leave the shelter from the day, I had to make those sounds when I left because it was such heavy work that I was doing it all the time. And I, I, I had to do it before I got home or I was carrying it, like, even though I was cleaning myself up like crazy, but it was heavy energy. So let's sing one last song. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I like the, the other lullaby song they sing, the one no, from last week. Yeah. Let's sing the other lullaby song that came to Jai. Okay. We're going to sing it twice. Okay. No, I'll put her in her bed. <laughs> You can type in the comments what you felt like about this chakra point. Does it make sense to you? Is it way out left field? Left field. Jonathan's way out left field. CD, can you still get it anywhere? I got like three copies left. I have two. Mm -hmm. You gotta make more. Like, you gotta submit them to like CD Baby or something. I don't even know who. Uh, um, the Costa Studio has our second CD. I'm just waiting for Patrick to get in there because he, he wanted to get on the CD so he can get the sound booth to sing all over top the three, three songs that he's got to pick. So I'm waiting for him to get his button gear to get over there. So we, they're, and they're ready. They're already ready. So, and um, they have a place where they send them off to get the CDs, but Jai was thinking of just put them on. The no, I still want to get hard copies of the CD, um, but I have to get iTunes and all that kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah, I was going to say, how do you go about putting them on like Spotify or something so people can download them? There's like a mainframe, or like you can use like certain outlets that will submit them onto Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, wherever. But I don't know which one to trust, so I might, oh, just, yeah. Yeah, I might just message like Logan Stock or something I don't and ask him who have, to use. I don't know if we have, do we have the original from the first CD? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're on the CD. We could send it from there. That could be one. Yeah. Or I could just figure out where to make more of the first CD and then get Patrick in the studio and just yeah. reset. If I just book it, then he'll get in there. So. Because we went in there and we had it done in like six hours. It was done. And the last oh, wow. CD, the first CD was like eight hours, eight hours, eight hours. It was like crazy. Yeah. 
Hey, you'll have to get more printed up, more coffees. <clears throat> I've been trying to find the copies of these because I know Caitlin, I know you record these. Where do you find them? Uh, Jackie posts them up to the YouTube page, but there should be links on like our website and stuff. I can't find them. Mm -hmm. I look, can you, if you can, if you find one or the link, can you send it to me? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Yeah. <clears throat> Wendy, did you find, did you find any, any difference in those three chakra points? The first one, yes. Second one, no. Third one, yes. Okay. So the third one and the first one, they're probably trying to help that the middle one. And the songs are going to help that. It's it was weird from the first one. In the, in the third one, I had, there was like a doorway. I visioned a doorway. Then I, then I saw like a teepee, a huge teepee. And at the very top is where the ribbons were hanging. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. So then I kind of floated up and hung up the, the ribbon. And then I come down. When you went up the sky? You came back yeah. Down. Awesome. It was so cool. But you can go there anytime now. But it was like oranges and reds. I had orange and reds and that's in that one. That's the colors we worked on too. So that's awesome. It might change next time. You never know. Yeah. Uh, that's fine because I had like I could actually see stars when I was looking down. Yeah. Hmm? Did you see anything? Or did you see mine? Did you see actually into it? Yeah. Did you feel it in your body? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't really see nothing on it. Because I didn't feel nothing. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> it's weird because like I can I can see the notes, but it's like I can see the music. That's it. Yeah. You see it differently. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you see the notes. You see the yeah exactly. Oh, no, no, like it's yeah. like I can see like the ups and downs of the note. Yeah. Not like like how you read sheet music or yeah. anything, but like I can just see it. Like just That's like awesome. colors and. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. CD on, um, and I don't know if they all went out, but I'd go out just like that, and it regenerated me. And then it would—it was only like ten minutes, but it would take me someplace, and I'd be okay when I got, because it was so stressful being there all day in ICU. So it works. Like even you can plug them in on your phone. Like sometimes I need them to go to sleep, um, or just listen to them when I'm working on people. I need that water sound and uh, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Oh. Kate, how about you? Do you feel any difference in those areas? Um, not seeing anything, but like just the feeling of it. Mm. That's good. Yeah, that's good. So then, that's except I don't, I didn't close my eyes the first or the third time. <laughs> so you can try it on your own. Just try it on your own. Um, do the same exercise. You can do it every day and see how different it looks. What you see, it's like. Oh my God, like, and then you wait, you open your eyes and you, you'll remember what you've seen and how you felt. And it means something and it will, it'll all connect. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Me and Jai are going to do it in the office when certain people yeah. come in. 
<laughs> yeah. Wait, before you come into office, yeah. you know, all these big signs are saying, oh. It's like, meditate first. <laughs> The one for the heart is like the word I, like, ah, uh, perfect. Yeah, so <laughs> that's the password to get in. <laughs> so thank you, Miigwech, if nobody has any more questions. And uh, um, the social services gave me the rest of these books, but I already gave them all away. So I don't know if they found more. They have, I don't know if they had any more, but um, one of the girls gave them to me and I, I had like 10 CDs. So I'm stingy with the last CD of this and that because they they um gave me them, but I think they did a hundred, so they gave out a hundred unless they, there's some there somewhere. I don't know. Mm. Where would they, oh I guess you wouldn't know where they would be sitting yeah. with the mental, mental health. health. Yeah. Okay. That would, be, that would be Faith right now. Faith. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. I can ask Faith. Yeah. You want to say something? Yeah. Come here then. Are you gonna say bye? Say. Say bye, Mommy Clubman. Say bye, Mommy Clubman. Happy Jumman. Oh, there she is. Keenan. All right. Oh, look at Manny's hands. Okay, sing then. You want the drum? Yeah. Okay. Let's see the jump. Here you go. Go ahead. You gotta sing then. Ready? Sing. Oh, that was oh, being shot. Did you gonna sing? Oh, that's a nice song. Short song. Hey. Hurry up then. Hurry up. Hurry up. Sing. I can hear you sing. Hey. Mama. Bye, Miguel. 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 Bye, Mi